what is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is your UK Trotter Brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around. And I'll be doing my top five assholes in One Piece because you know, you get characters that annoy you, you get characters that you cannot stand, and you get characters that are just pure assholes. So, sit your cheeks down, get your fried chicken, get your Kool Aid because this UK Trotter Brother will be going ham on this video so i further further do let me just go with this so at number five it is the one is the only dr hogback and this guy his face just pees me off bruh his face just pees me off like the way they designed him it made me think of the penguin bruh and when i grew up i never liked the penguin bruh that guy had some creepy ass face bruh nah 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 bruh i did not like Dr. Hogback, I did not like the way he was, I did not like his laugh, I did not like his design, I did not like the way he treated that girl who he liked, who he apparently liked, because if you like so, you think you're gonna make them lick the floor and start booting them in the face? Nah, bruh. And the way he treated Chopper as well? Lord have mercy, bruh. Like, I did not like the way he treated Chopper, I did not like his over, his over him overall as a person. I did not like him, he was a bit weird, he looked weird, he was one of those characters that you just wanted to see get the crap beaten out of. So, at number 5, it is Dr. Hogback. At number 4, most people will put this guy up there as the worst One Piece villain, also probably in the worst One Piece arc. I think Fishman Island did get a lot of hate, you guys may know who I'm talking about now bruh. I'm talking about Hoddy Jones, Hoddy Jones was such a terrible and I mean terrible, racist, excuse of a villain. This guy was terrible, bruh. I felt like I was playing Xenoverse the way this guy would pop his pills, bruh. This guy, Luffy would be whipping his ass. He'd be like, nah, bruh, this, this ain't over. I, I've got some pills right here. Let me take a butt ton of pills and somehow get stronger. Oh, oh, the only reason why I'm winning, bruh, is because we're fighting underwater and Luffy has to be in some fat ass bubble to fight your ass, bruh. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The arc in terms of showcasing their abilities, A1, bruh. All, all, their, all the abilities that they did were hype. Seeing Luffy take out, I think it was 5,000 people doing Conqueror's Hockey, hype. Seeing, seeing um, him, like, read that guy from behind using his hockey to block him. Seeing him do a hockey with your forehead, bruh. He's like, this guy's like, bruh, I got rock hard forehead. Call me Hammerhead, if you say. <laughs> but as a whole, Hoddy Jones was a terrible villain. He was just an extreme, he was more, he was just more of an extreme Arlong. And he wasn't really strong. It was, that was like um, anime, anime fan talk says, that was pretty much just the training ground for them to showcase their new ability to see how strong they become. And yeah. Hoddy, Hoddy Jones is at number 4 So, we are now at the top 3 All these characters I'm about to mention are legends or future legends Depending on how you want to put it In terms of what they've accomplished, they've accomplished a lot And they are also assholes as well bruh They have accomplished a lot, they have done so much in One Piece Or they are going to do a lot in One Piece They're pretty much establishing themselves as hardcore characters in terms of what they've done. So, let me just kick this off by saying Alkayunu is at number three. And before you guys start slashing my cheeks, because I know there are a lot of Alkayunu fans, and I know there are a lot of people that dislike Alkayunu. Okay, let me say how I see Alkayunu in my ass, bruh. This guy, badass ability, badass ability, bruh. In terms of badassery, in terms of abilities, bruh, this guy has it, this guy has it. In terms of design, Oda got that A1. Oda got that design for this guy A1. He is a absolute brute in terms of design, in terms of ability. But the thing that screws him over for me is the fact that the way he goes about doing things, bro. Okay, he's a Marine. We get it. We get he's a Marine. So his job is to pretty much make sure Ace don't get away with anywhere. He don't, his job is to make sure Ace is staying there ace is not leaving the premises bruh he ain't leaving he ain't leaving he ain't leaving he ain't leaving okay we get that we get that it's your job it's your job you are a marine we we get it we get we we get that so the problem i have with him is bruh this guy talk dirty about white beard bruh sees white beard behind him bruh he you see him sweating bruh you see him sweating like i mean you see him dripping buckets because he knows white beard's behind his back and he's gonna kick his cheeks left right and center white beard's giving him no mercy, he is gonna wreck 
them cheeks left, right, and center. But Al Kayunu as a character, he's a badass in terms of ability, a badass in terms of design. Oda got that one spot on in terms of the way he designed him. I like the way he designed him. It was pretty cool the way he is and the way he looks. Okay, I don't like the way he is, but you guys know what I mean. But I didn't like the way he treated um, Kobe. He was willing to kill Kobe just to kill more cheeks, like to slip more cheeks. What I mean, slip, like tear more cheeks like KFC chicken. But anyways, Al Kayun is at number three. When I get to number two, Lord have mercy, you're gonna see me be going ham on them cheeks. But anyway, Al Kayun is at number three. So at number two, the one and the only Don Quixote Delph Flamingo. Lord have mercy, where do I start off with this guy, bruh? He shot my favorite character. He killed his dad at the age of 10. He does that weird thing with his with his um with, with, with his forehead. We see them them veins pop up, bruh. He is the definition okay he's not really the definition he is so annoying like oh my gosh he is such such an asshole the way he treats people asshole like oh my gosh oh I, i'm actually sweating thinking about del flamingo because the way he shot shot um uh what's the name law it, it peed me off. I don't care his reasons. He's just an asshole for doing it. The way he controlled Bellamy. Bellamy looked up to him. And the thing that pees me off. I don't care if it's anime. I don't care if it's real life. If you look up to someone. And that person lets you down. That's automatically a dick move. In terms of them being an asshole bro. He was willing to do anything for this guy. But this, but he didn't want not to want to take out Luffy. And he pretty much called him a little scumbag. A little waste of space. He pretty much called him a little sideman bro. I did not like the way Del Flamingo treated people. I did not like the way he killed his brother Corazon. Corazon? Cor yeah, Corazon. I did not like the way he did it. I okay, he had his reasons for killing Corazon because Corazon was going to expose his ass. But he deserved it. I did not like the way Del Flamingo went about things. Oh my gosh, I just like Del Flamingo so much with his dirty ass hair receding line, bruh. I did not like Del Flamingo. He pees me off. And yeah, Del Flamingo is at number two. At number one, oh my gosh, man, Blackbeard, I'm, I'm not even going to say a Blackbeard, bruh, him and his checkboard teeth, him and his cocky ass, bruh, and when he gets beaten up, he starts crying, rolling on the floor like a little baby, bruh, this guy, oh, whoop. oh, Blackbeard is so annoying, the way he taunts Luffy, I was so happy when Luffy hit him square in the face, he is just, oh, oh my gosh, He's just an asshole. The way he gets all cocky, and then when someone's beating him up, he gets all scared. Ah, uh, the way ah, uh, I, I I I can't wait until they show him again. I can't. I want someone to wreck his cheeks, bro. I I don't like. I don't like. I do not like teach. I do not like teach. I don't like teach. I do not like teach. I do not like teach. But as a whole, he's the most annoying character in One Piece for me. Him and his checkboard teeth. His character design, the way he is, is built up to be a great villain. He is a great villain. He is a great villain. I can't I can't take that away from him, but he is such a big asshole. The way he's like, hey, I'm going to win the flame flame fruit. It's going to be like me having Ace in my team, taunting the crap out of Luffy. And the way he is, the way he acts, and the, he's just, he's so scummy. Oh, the way he portrayed Blackbeard was horrible. Just for one ass devil fruit, bro. Uh, I didn't like him at all. And yeah, he's at number one for me. I, I don't want to go into full... Okay, I did go into full detail as much as I can. You guys may think my details are a bit limited. But anyways, um, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Tell me your top five characters that you dislike in One Piece. Top five characters that you think are assholes. Leave it down in the description below. Tell me if you want to see my top five or my favorite Marines slash Admirals. Tell me. Put that down in the comments below because this has been your UK Truck the brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around. And it is time for me to put down that fried chicken and the Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. So please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please have like, rate, enjoy this video. And yeah, this UK, Truck the brother, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.